Ian Factor, um, a painter, uh, artist, art teacher. Um, my uh, mediums are pretty diverse, painting, drawing, sculpture, printmaking, photography, film, uh, installation work, um, you name it, um, digital work, uh, design. I was a graphic designer and uh, commercial artist and illustrator for years and years. I worked for Burton Snowboards for a long time. So pretty diverse background, but right now currently I'm working on, uh, like I mentioned, this series of uh, paintings, drawings, photography, and, and vi video that I shot uh, this past summer up in Portland at the BLM protests. Mostly painting and drawing at this point, um, but there's a whole series of video that I shot and, and uh, photos that I'm working on in terms of manipulating, collaging, putting together for a show that I've got coming up in Maine this spring at some point, whenever COVID allows. Um, so that's, that's kind of what this body of work is, is geared towards. Well, right when I got here, I was like, well, maybe I'll do my own academy. But within about a year, um, I thought this is really a good plan is to do my own academy. With the hope of not just having, like I said earlier, a private little insular art school, but to build something for the academy um, that would actually give back to the community and be for the community. That's where I started teaching students out of, out of this studio here, small groups, and then it just kind of grew, and then the word, word of mouth went out, and then within about, I guess, a year, I was like, wow, this is really, people are interested in this, and um, there's some good feedback. So I just thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start my own school. That requires space, you know, that requires a community space. I was looking for about a year, year and a half for commercial space in bed. And it was just unaffordable, I mean, especially for a startup art school. You know, my goal is to offer high quality, academic, you know, contemporary art training. Classical, but also contemporary. So we looked and looked and looked, and three months, four months later, COVID strikes. And thank God we didn't sign a lease. We were really close to signing a $4,000 a month lease on a space that was too small. You know, and I'm not one to give up. I, you know, I have people who know me, they're like, they know that I... I battle I fight through projects till I get them done but I'm thinking about it's maybe time to move to another place it's pretty sad but I'm looking at affordable space it's a weird time for me in Bend and the art community and COVID has not made it any easier really